Hey, Coach David uh, Newton here. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, wanted to say, what uh, what did Honor David Tepper say to you after the win? Did any uh, did y'all have a conversation about it? What was that like? No, oh, it was it was business as usual. He was excited about the win. He was excited for the guys. Uh, I think everybody that was in our locker room was was happy with the outcome, and and that's that's just what it was. Have you been given any assurances, or are you considering any assurances that you'll be uh, part of the process moving forward for the full time job? <laughs> Never even thought about that. Um, my my next process after this will be getting right into Green Bay, so that's where all my attention will be. I like your dance moves, by the way. Thank you. Let's go to Alex Zietlow, followed by Mike Kay. Hi, Chris. Thanks for taking the time. Um, yep. uh, what did this win mean for you personally? This is this was obviously your third game as the interim with the Panthers and your fourth overall. Just what did it mean for you to get in the winning comments as a head coach? Well. You know, I didn't really think. I don't think of it as a, a personal moment. Uh, you know, I'm like I say, I'm, I'm happy for the guys. Uh, I thought that they played really well. I thought we played complimentary football. Um, I thought the coaching staff did a really nice job of putting guys in position to make plays, and uh, that's really that's all I've really been focused on. I think I, I think maybe you know, at the end of the year, you can always look back and you self reflect and those type of things. But I. Haven't given any of that any thought. Hey, Chris. Um, it seems like special teams really bounce back in a big way, especially from an op. But just, I, I guess, from a situational standpoint, um, what? How do you think your your entire unit performed uh, outside of not just the specialists? I thought we did a nice job there. I thought we were handling field position as best we could. Um, you know, I was pleased with the, the fact that we bounced back from a, a disappointing week before, and uh, that was that was really our challenge. Uh, obviously, we, we still have things to rectify in, in those type of deals, but I've been pleased in, in our area um, for the most part, most of the year. And, uh, you know, yesterday is, is a day that, that your special teams, you need to play well and handle that field position and create short fields or and then those type of things, and the kids did that. Um, in a completely unrelated note, um, both sides of the trenches really performed well when, when needed. Um, I was just curious, what stood out to you about both those groups? Well, I'll tell you what, when you, you know, obviously running the football uh, offensively and with the O-line and then the receivers getting in there and blocking, I, I thought they did a really, really nice job along with the backs. I thought our defensive line really played on the other side of the line of scrimmage. I thought those guys, I thought, I thought the movement and the physicality with which they played uh, was outstanding. I think what we give up uh, 1.7 yards per carry on, on a lot of carries. It wasn't just like there was three or four carries. So uh, our, our defensive line, I, I thought, played really, really well. Thanks. All right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by Darren Gant. Hey, Chris, good to see you. Uh, Wondered kind of uh, what, what went into the decision to give Gabe Jackson some reps, and uh, if you would wouldn't mind assess, assessing his play, please. You know, he came in there. Uh, we ripped off a couple good runs there right away, right when he came in. He's a strong player, been around the block, has a lot of experience, and it was just something that uh, we felt like we just needed to do at that time, and uh, you know. Thought that he did some really nice things, and there's, as I always say, I mean, it's any player, he's going to want some plays back. And uh, we'll work hard this week to, to get those things rectified and build off the things that he did well. Uh, but uh, really pleased with his performance for a guy that just got here. Given how, uh, how, as you said, the run game sort of worked with him in there, are you anticipating him continuing to, to roll at right guard? We'll have to see. It's a little, probably a little early for to make any of those announcements this time. Chris, talking about you mentioned that defensive line and the run defense. It, other than Derek Brown, a lot of guys who aren't you know highly decorated type players, and a couple guys like Wormley, Ray Thurman, who were brought in during the season. Uh, 
What is it about those rotational guys that kind of allow you to play that way? Well, they just all play hard. Coach Walsh does a great job with those guys. And when, and when you watch the tape and you just see the line movements and, and how well they're, they're moving and playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage, I mean, that's, that's big for us. Anytime you can obviously knock people back and, and, and get some penetration there and, and, and begin to wreck things, so to speak, uh, you, you have good run defense. So those guys did a really nice job. And they're, they're important pieces. I know. Obviously, we, we have a great player in, in, in Derek, and, and, uh, but those other guys, they, they, they work real well also. It's, it's a nice unit. The other thing I was curious about, uh, you had a number of guys last week on the re injury report with illness, and you know Sharp was out yesterday after being a late ad. What do you do with guys when they turn up sick? Well, you know, it, it's going around. There's no doubt about that. I, I think even Atlanta. I know uh, uh, their kicker Koo, He he was he was ill at the end of the week. He actually I, I I believe that he drove up. They had they drove him up to the game as as opposed to coming on the airplane. But you know you just try to, to be, as simple as it is, wash your hands, cover your mouth, stay away, some spacing, those those type of things. That's that's what, kind of what we're into right now, and hopefully we'll. Uh, get over this flu bug, but that, that's that's always tough to beat. Have you just been getting guys out of the meeting rooms and stuff like that when somebody turns up sick? Yeah, or you maybe put them in the back. You know, go ahead, put a mask on. I mean, there's lots of things that, that you can do. Um, and obviously, our training staff does a good job of assessing where they're at with regards to the illness and whether or not they maybe either a need to go home or mask them and just kind of move them and get them away from people. We got time for a few more. Let's go to Jeff Hawkins, followed by Mike K. Hi, greetings, Coach. Um, just wanted to follow up on, uh, on Emar Smith, e Smith, Smith, Marthet's uh, uh, spark that he gave the team uh, yesterday. Uh, what role do you envision for him going forward in the slot or on sweeps? Um, what do you think he'll provide on offense? I think he's a player that's kind of keeps growing. You know, uh, you know his his role is, is beginning to expand on offense, which I'm excited to see. Uh, and I, th I just think whatever opportunity he gets, he'll take advantage of. And that's kind of where he's at right now. He's doing a nice job with regards to making good decisions in the punt return game. We got him on some jet sweeps and kind of turn and then you know the the motion and then throwing it out to him out there, kind of turned into a little bit of a punt return play for him. And uh, just, I thought the offense did a good job of utilizing his skill set. Chris, um, there are a couple of guys like uh, Smith Marset who really, you know, made their living on special teams. Who are seeing bigger roles: Barno, Tremble, um, Camus, guys like that. Is there a guy who? you felt was like a, a best kept secret on special teams who you've seen kind of really elevate themselves on the other side of the ball with that overarching view? I don't know if I have a guy in, in particular. Uh, real proud of the guys that are getting their opportunities to play more offense and defense. I think we talked about it earlier in the year, like with Sam, you know. Um, and that's kind of what our, our area is. I mean, you know, we need them to play well in our area. And when they get opportunities on offense and defense, then, then take advantage of those opportunities. Whatever's going to give us a chance to win, uh, that, that's, that's what we need. Thanks. All right, we got time for two quick ones. Let's go to Skylar Callahan and wrap up with Joe Person. Hey, Chris. Uh, you gave the guys uh, the day off, so to speak, last week. And you talked about how the, that may be something that they needed. Looking back on it, obviously, it looks like the right decision. Um, but what did you see throughout the practice week that gave you confidence that you guys were going to put the performance that you did on Sunday? I just, I liked, I liked the idea of, of the plan that we described how we were wanted to win the game. You knew that the weather, what was coming in, how you needed to execute it, and what needed to be done in all three phases collectively, and how we were all going to help each other and make this thing work. And, and uh, I saw, you know, Wednesday afternoon, I thought Thursday, uh, what was it was a good practice and then uh, Friday Friday was solid so we did everything that we were supposed to do in order to give ourselves a chance to win and that's and really that's how the game played out uh, you know and the offense obviously doing a great job with that 17 play drive going down to, to give us a chance to win it and that that was great 
Hey, Chris, you guys have had to, to roll some, some people through here uh, with Scott and his folks uh, making some additions. Just wondered kind of how, you know, your, uh, how, how that give and take has worked since you took over with, with Scott. Oh, it's been, it's been great. I mean, his, uh, our offices are right across from each other. And as the special teams coach, you're always uh, how do you say, in the know, I guess, with the general manager of, of possible moves because it is going to affect my area. Uh, so I, to me, it's just been business as, as normal.